slippery little bastard. I don't have time for this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Let's go! The hell are you thinking? Played college ball, you know. That's a cushy Ivy League school. Join the Navy. I'm not one of those beltway pansies. I could break the president in two with my bare hands. Don't fuck with this, Senator. What the hell are you? Why don't you stick around and find out? Let's not forget to enjoy it. Capital and votes. Want to know why? I have a dream. What? That one day, every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it. A nation of action, not words ruled by strength, not committee. Where the law changes to suit the individual. Not the other way around. Ugh. Where power and justice are back where they belong. In the hands of the people! Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 where every man is free to think, to act for himself! 
Fuck all these lunatic lawyers! The chicken shit bureaucrats! Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit! <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! America is diseased, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! And from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! The weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! So I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe! Not for money, not for oil! Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars! <laughs> so, what do you think? How the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. I was wrong. You're not greedy. You're batshit insane! Omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the weak, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours.
they harm in response to physical trauma. You can't hurt me, Jack! <laughs> what did I just say? Time to end this. Save your master. <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now. Created my own directives. You little fuck.
Your dream dies with you. Oh, maybe not. You've guaranteed the status quo will go on. For a while longer, at least. War will continue as an institution, as an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. But at least I'll leave a worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. die.